Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video on the Machina Marashek Triangle. So uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, this thing as a tool for going and modeling lotteries or preferences over lotteries. So as we know here, it's a triangle and at each one of these uh, points here, each one of these vertices, um, we go and we have this thing called a degenerate lottery. And uh, a degenerate lottery is also referred to as a simple lottery. Simple lottery. And what that means is that it's a lottery known with certainty. So it's just you have a certain outcome over there. So um, one thing that we should note in our uh, simplex here, right? This over here, so that's how, what I'm calling this triangle, is that we can model any lottery, right? as a combination of these two. So let's consider constructing uh, this lottery here, one third, one third, and one third, right? What that's gonna go and do for us is that if we go and we have say one third here, again, this isn't really uh, to scale, but that's probably a little bit more like one half, but let's go and probably tr let's try putting it down uh, one third, maybe, Let's try uh, here and here and maybe just here. So I know this might be a little bit confusing, but what I'm trying to do is that I'm just considering uh, a point where each one of these things are going to be uh, one third as and it doesn't change our uh, result, but we should end up with something like this. Mathematically speaking, um, we get this result here, alpha j x j plus x uh, alpha k x k. That's what this point is here. Now, um, what alpha is, it's on the interval of zero to one and k, x over here, that's a lottery. It's not a good, it's a lottery in this context. So what could this thing be used for? So it could be used for going and visualizing the requirements for uh, our preferences to go and have a expected utility function going and underlying it. So for that, we could use the von Neumann Morgenstern expected utility theorem. Uh, it's really three parts. So I'm put it in four parts to break up this completeness and transitivity. But first we need our preferences to be rational, right? The second one is that for any lottery X1, X2 and X3, and L, we need this thing called a mixture continuity. And what this math just says is that um, if I'm indifferent between X1 and X3, right? As in, this is weak, weak preference here. So X1 is at least as good as X3. Then if I mix it with something else, that's not going to uh, change our, my preference over here. So um, the, the best example here in this context would be that if you're going and mixing, uh, you know, a little bit, a drive, a nice drive uh, for being preferred to staying at home and a nice drive mixed with a very tiny probability of death, right? And, you know, this is a, this is a real thing that you go and you do if every time you go out and drive, right? And this is the example my professor told me with regards to this, uh, you're taking a risk uh, with regards to dying. So, we want, we need this to go and be closed there. And this last one here is independence, meaning that my mixing with uh, some other factor, right, doesn't go and change the ranking. So this should be X2 here at the bottom. All right, so let's talk about how to use it. So um, we have uh, three triangles here, and we're going to first talk about our first case, which is our well behaved case. Right, and this is an ideal world, um, and our direction of increasing desirability is just heading out this way. And these little blue lines here are our indifference curves I C1, I C2. Um, so we see that it's rational because we can go and have uh, complete intransitive preferences. We see it satisfies independence because this convex combination here uh, does not go and impact its ranking at this point here or at any point here as in it should really just be a point and for mixture continuity uh let me just go and choose a different 
the utility level. If I'm at this point here, right, I can say this point is better. If I were to take compare that to say uh, this point down here, right, this would be uh, the same sort of ranking or alternatively the ranking would go and shift. Um, so what makes your continuity goes and says is that we have well-defined uh, indifference curves in this context. Moving on to our second case, this violates independence. And the reason why it violates independence is because if we were to go and take uh, a convex combination between any two of these points, we are hitting actually a better optimum here. We're actually at a better point right here. Um, moving on, right, we're now looking at our lexic orient ordering. So here, um, we know that for lexicographic preferences, they're just points. They're just points. And your primary criteria is going out this way, and your secondary criteria is going out this way. Um, this goes and uh, it violates, um, I would say, both um, independence and uh, mixture continuity. Because if you were to go and take a convex combination between, uh, say, any two points, right? Or say, you know, it could go out this way, this way. Um, but in this case, you're going to end up at a completely different level of utility. So I would say violates independence, right? And I think it would also violate mixture continuity because um, what this goes and says is that we don't necessarily have really well-defined levels of utility. I can go and say that it, it's preferred to, one bundle is preferred to uh, some other bundle here, right? But to go and consider, say, uh, this bundle here, right, which maxes out your third criterion, right, completely compared to this to this bundle here, right? I can say that this bundle here is better to, than this bundle, but I can't necessarily go and do that because we don't have uh, a mapping from, I guess, the rational numbers, numbers to the reals, right? So the mapping just doesn't happen. So this also violates mixture continuity, right? So this is also a no-go. So um, I hope this video helps. Uh, if you have any questions, if I did anything wrong in this video, please let me know. Take care.